right farmers welcome back to the channel so today we've got some new mods right first the updates so we've got an update for the construction map by the lot 47.73 megabyte on the download for the full map then a change log for that it's got added new decoration objects added biogas plant added sawmill added forest added paths added lamps added chicken coop diesel tank and greenhouse fields can now be painted in the landscape tool and a new game save is needed and the second update for today is the new Bartle Shargon 2022 map by Atzi VR 154.27 megabyte on the download and there is quite a few updates to this so in the change log it says cosmetic corrections fixed light trigger on garage big service hall which resulted in not being able to pick up the collectible fixed fences that were unintentionally at the edge of the field added more dirt roads with splines for the helper added pigsty environment objects that may interfere after sale livestock trade for straw and silage sale now next to the animal sale license plates adapted to license plate de added farmers market added some traffic signs added bakery added biomass cogeneration plant added stone sale added greenhouse lights attached to the halls from the outside farmhouse traded fixed multiplayer search added another sale point productions acceptance limit increased because of large fields farmlands better adjusted added new water planes the old ones went under the map and blocked the helper when working in the fields so that's your update for today now obviously both of those maps were an update but we have got a new map as well this is Fruerling. this is by ka77e 78.68 megabyte on the download and this is a fictional map based in germany so we'll have a look at that in a separate video so the first mod we've got to look at today is the fermenting silo pack this is by hungry cow design 3.87 megabyte on the download and you're going to find these in the construction menu and under silos so we've got the three here we've got the small stave silo which is 60 grand and that's got a 338,000 litre capacity we then got the large stave silo so the one in the middle that's going to cost you 100 grand that's got 565,000 litre capacity and we then got the steel silo one which is going to cost you 200 grand and that's got a 925,000 litre capacity now to get these working obviously they are going to come under the production chain shenanigans so all three are the same where you load in so load in at the front there your production chain menu there and then you take out there so if we go actually into the production chain menu so all the recipes are the same one for one obviously you put in you get out the same ratio the difference is the small stave silo has 180,000 cycles per month if that wasn't a lot for you the large stave cycle has 240,000 cycles a month oh dear oh dear and then the steel one is 480,000 cycles a month so that's basically going to be pretty much instant with it let's, let's face it so we'll carry on if you want some silage done if you want to use a bit of fermenting on the go these could be very nice indeed Right, next up is the TMR mixing station. This is by Happy Mole, 7.21 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this in the construction menu under productions and factories. And we'll scroll along to find it. There we are, 30 grand to buy. Place it down and you can start mixing your TMR. So you've got your onload point there when the stuff is ready. You've got your production chain menu there. Then round the side, so that's where you're going to put your mineral feed in then this side is where you're going to load all your other stuff in so if we go into the production chain menu there we are so 360 silage 360 hay 20 mineral feed and 180 straw gets you 920 tmr which is all right that pretty much works out very nice 120 cycles a month need some tmr mixing up obviously not that large on the old footprint that oh, could be very nice indeed right next up is the hessian farm pack this is by bernie mw 16.77 megabyte on the download and you're going to find these in a couple of different places 
So the first thing you want to do is go into construction menu and then under farmhouses. That's the first part of it. 100 grand to buy. Obviously place it down. One per map unless the map allows for other shenanigans on the go. You then got the cow shed. So obviously under animals and cows. So that's 50 grand to buy. Obviously place that down. You then got the fermenting silo which is under productions and factories. So we'll scroll along again. There you are, 15 grand to buy, place it down. You want to get a bit of fermenting on the go. Be very nice. And then the last thing you got is farm silo shelter. This is going to be under buildings and silos. So there you are, 11 grand to buy, place it down. That's saying, that's got a 2 million litre capacity. 11 grand. Hmm. Anyway, we'll move on. So first off, the farmhouse. So over on your left, you've got your wardrobe trigger then you've got your sleep trigger up the side there obviously don't get yourself stuck then here these gates open up there we are be careful not to hit yourself in the face and the big ones open up as well and around here a bit of storage in there then a bit more storage in this area you can also turn the lights on and off and you can go up these stairs like so a bit of a hayloft on the go obviously we have to load stuff up under there from from under there shall we say yeah excellent right so we'll go through here got our cow barn so this is your milk taking out point you then got your animal dialogue box there what's it saying open door there we are too close so 45 grand to buy you can open those gates if you want to and then if we go in this door here this is where you're going to put your feed down I mean the trigger is right by that milk tank so I'd imagine it's probably a little bit further in but you can see where it goes and then down the end through this door it's a bit of a drive through you then got your slurry taking out point right over here on to the next part so this is your farm silo with storage so open up those doors there's a bit of storage in there open up those doors there's your farm silo so load in and load out it's going to be at the same point and then in here some more storage space we go right the way around the back next door to the silo you've got this little bit here a little bit more storage then to finish it off got the fermenting silo so obviously load in load out that's strange there's no production chain menu for it all right we'll go in this way there you are hessian fermenting silo usual shenanigans on the go one in one out yeah that's not a problem but there's no production chain menu you have to, you have to go through it for the usual menu options Oh, that's a nice pack, that is. Do you like the style of that? Very nice. Right, next up is the Potato Palette. This is by Happy Mole again. 73 kilobyte on the download. And it's 850 for 2,000 litres of potatoes. Now, you could ask yourself the question, why would you want to buy a pallet of potatoes? Now, you can load the potato planter with potatoes, or you can just take them straight to your pigs. So, obviously... If you want to feed your pigs everything and you can't really be bothered doing the potatoes because, well, it is a long-winded job, shall we say. Just buy a few of these. This then gets that section of the feed up for them. Excellent. Right, next up is the Lizard Double Pallet Fork. This is by Dutch Modney Inc. 0.91 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find it under the Telehandler Tool section. So going to cost you 1200 to buy the options you got there are telehandler attacher front loader attacher three point attachment then back to telehandler and you can change the main color to any one of those so if you fancy doing a bit of double pallet stacking at the same time this could be very nice indeed for you right next up is the unia gradiads 3 this is by Hatchtail Mods, 4.12 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under plows. Now, this requires 45 horsepower from your tractor, and it's got 
1.1 meter working width i mean really come on oh seven mile an hour working speed you can change the main color we'll go for a green and then the design color we'll go for a red changes those parts i mean 900 to buy i mean if you're going down the role play route of an old school tractor that hasn't got a lot of horsepower this would be all right for you but we all know what i think of small equipment so we'll just move on next up is the brantner tr 3800 stroke 2 power tube this is by agra modding 4.96 megabyte on the download you're going to find it under trailers so it starts off at 43,000 litre capacity you then got the options you can change that if you want to drop it down to standard which gives you a 33,000 litre capacity although why didn't it come in at standard it come in at the extension which is a bit random okay usual shenanigans with wheel brands and the tires you then change the main color to any one of those changes the main body then the rim color obviously changes the rims I mean, 43,000 litre capacity. I mean, even like with the colour change, it's only 40 grand. So, nah, that's all right, that is. Right, next up is the Kroger TAW package. This is by Bayan Agra, 10.99 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these two on the trailers. So, you've got the TAW 20 and the TAW 30. So, the 20 is going to cost you 42 grand to buy as standard 34,000 litre capacity. The TAW 30 is 56 grand to buy a standard of 45,000 litre capacity. So if we go into the 20, you then got the options there. Usual shenanigans on the wheel brands and the tyres. Then got the design, no warning stripes, warning stripes, upper warning stripes, warning stripes up and down, then no warning stripes, cover no or yes. Then if we go into the 30, got the same thing on the go. You pick whichever one you want to go for. I mean, a little bit more expensive than that previous one we've seen, but still, 56 grand. It's not that bad. That's all right. Right, next up, we've got the Fent Cargo Pack. This is by Bayan Agra again, 13.09 megabyte on the download. And there's a couple of things to this pack. So first up, we've got the front loader itself. We've got the Cargo 4X and the Cargo 5X. So if you go into the 4X, you've got the option of the 4x75, 4x80, 4x85, then back to the original one. Change the main colour, go for any one of those. Now that one, according to the website, it says is suitable for the 300 to the 500 Vario series. And if we go into the 5X, so you've got the 5x85, 5x90, and then back to 585, change the colour again. Now that's saying it's for the 700 and 800 Vario series. Now on the front loader tool section, we've got the universal shovel. So it's got a 1450 litre capacity and you can change the main color on that. And we've also got a bale spike, got three spikes, two spikes or three spikes. Change the main color again, so you keep it all matched up nicely. And that's your pack. Obviously you want to keep your farm all fent this could be very nice for you right next up is the fent vario package this is also by bayan agra 58.94 megabyte on the download and you're going to find these across a few different areas so first up we've got these two here we've got the 200 and the 300 vario so if we go into the 200 under small tractors so it's got 79 horsepower 24 mile an hour top speed so you're going to use this really for doing like olives and grapes it's that sort of tractor usual shenanigans on the wheel brands and the tires then you've got roof display no or yes you then got equipment line power setting two profi setting one profi setting two profi setting profi plus setting one profi plus setting two then back to power setting two not really sure what that does to be fair okay we'll carry on so front fenders yes or no beacon lights no right and no and then engine set up so it starts off 79 horsepower 84 94 104 114 then back to 79 change the main color we'll go with red why not the design color will go with green does the roof rim color obviously does the rims 
and if we come out of that we're going to the 300 so wheel brands and tires usual thing design no spring holder on the front hood protector on the front or no design package default chrome i've not really changed anything chrome now has it it's just their bits around the lights from what i can see and then default then we've got roof display no or yes so that puts a little monitor up there same again with the equipment line so power setting one two profi setting one and two profi plus setting one and two then back to power setting so front fender again yes or no warning signs no or yes and then beacon lights no left right and then both or no front loader attacher no quickie power vent and then no and you've got the engine set up so 113 as standard then goes to 123 133 142 and then back to 1113 let me change the main color again design color does the roof and then the rim color does the rims now we've got to come out of that and we've got to go into medium tractors so the medium tractor is the 700 vario so it starts off with 150 horsepower and 31 mile an hour top speed so usual stuff on the go again with the wheel brands and the tires so you've got front parts no spring holder hood protection a lot of these options are going to be the same so obviously you go for whatever one you want well that's a bit different design package so default chrome exhaust chrome then back to default roof display puts that monitor again then the same on the equipment line not really sure what that does to be fair probably just a that changes the lights a little doesn't seem to do much else mind you then front fender yes or no warning signs no or yes and then beacon lights no left right and then both or no front loader attacher no quickie power vent and then no and we got the horsepower we've got the 150 is standard that goes up to 171 188 209 228 246 and back to 150 and then change the colors as before then we come out of that and we're going to large tractors so we've got the 900 vario so it's got the same options as all the others obviously it doesn't have the front loader attacher but then what we have got is different engine power so we've got 296 as standard to 326 355 385 415 and back to 296 and then the last tractor in this pack is the 1000 vario same again on the options as the 900 and we'll come down to the engine setup you then got 396 as standard 435 476 517 back to 396 right what are the options so if we start up we got the little 200 here if we do lb and rb together left stick left and right opens up the driver's door lb and rb together right stick left and right opens up the well, i say driver and passenger door that's what i'm used to in the uk anyway left and right door you do rb and lb together and right stick up and down opens up the back window and then got the 300 series so lb and rb together left and right does the left door lb and rb together right stick left and right does the sunroof lb and rb and right stick together and up and down does the back window then got the 700 so we'll start that up same things again lb and rb left and right does the door right stick up and down does the window and then right stick left and right does the sunroof the 900 same things again so lb and rb together left stick left and right opens up the door lb and rb together right stick left and right does the sunroof and then with the right stick up and down does the back window also if you do lb and rb together in a you can change the seating position on this one we'll work backwards excellent and then for the thousand so if we start it up we'll do lb and a it says on fold tractor there puts the beacons on <laughs> that's it 
Oh, brilliant. Nice. Right, do LB and up. And it says open cover. No, there you are. LB and left on the D pad unfolds the warning sign. So if you have these options on any of the others, it will do the exact same. LB and RB together and right stick left and right obviously does the door and then LB and RB and the right stick up and down does the back window excellent right next up is the dumpers pack this is by Gnamsk and it's 45.94 megabyte on the download you're going to find these two under trucks so we've got the 745C dump and the 725A dumper so we're going to the 745 so we've got 396 horsepower engine, 31 mile an hour top speed, 50,000 litre capacity back on that. Wheels and tyres, use your standards on the go. That's going to cost you 180 grand. And then you've got the 725A dumper, 309 horsepower engine, 25,000 litre capacity on the back, 35 mile an hour top speed. Use your standards with the wheel brands and the tyres. So if you want to go down the road of like a construction sort of shenanigans on the go these could be very nice indeed all right next up is the john deere 1270g series this is by woodcraft modding 28.15 megabyte on the download you're going to find it under forestry machines so it's got a 268 horsepower engine 14 up 14 49 that would be well fast logging 14 mile an hour top speed the options you got there on the tires you got knocking lows fours usual shenanigans on what you'd have on one of these so you go for whatever you like and you got design standard rear protection cab protection full protection then standard then capacity standard tank then got additional tanks that puts up your fuel tank up a little bit then back to standard tank so if you're into your forestry equipment obviously the controls for this are the general ones for a forestry tree harvester. So if you're into that sort of thing, it could be John Deere. Very nice. And the last mod for the day is the John Deere 1110, 1210, 1510G. It's also by Woodcraft Modding, 27.58 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this one under forestry machines as well. So this has got 197 horsepower engine and 14 mile an hour top speed. So usual shenanigans on the go with the wheel brands and the tyres. You then got the option there, blade without blade, with blade on the front, without blade. Protection to no, cabin, hood, full, then no protection. Cover, no bogey left, with bogey left, then back to no bogey. That's boogie, isn't it? Not bogey. Oh dear. Oh, I need to get some glasses. Then capacity, you got narrow load space, wide load space, and then back to narrow. So obviously you want to get a bit more logs on the back, go for the wider one. Then engine setup, so it starts off at 197, then goes to 212, 223, then back to 197. So if we come out of that, we'll start it up. Now the option you've got here, which I think is really good. So if we move the camera around like that, and we'll do RB and left stick. It says there, toggle steering mode, manual cabin control. Click that in. It says automatic train tracking. Crane tracking. I need to put some teeth in. So if we then start moving the actual crane, like so, the camera follows the crane to see what you're doing so if we then turn that off whatever you're doing with the crane then your camera stays static but you turn that on and it follows it which is excellent i like that right so all the other controls are the standard ones that you're used to with a forestry harvester trailer whatever you want to call it if you then go into y into the control group extra functions We'll then do LB and right stick, left and right. That moves the front part backwards and forwards. LB and right stick up and down moves the back part in and out. Excellent. I do like that camera thing. That is ace. That really is ace. I do like that. 
do like that a lot same thing applies to the tree harvester as well i forgot to mention it has that camera what do you want to call it attachment yeah we'll go with attachment now that's very nice very nice indeed that's the last mod for the day so that's it done and dusted drop it in the comments below which one's your favorite which one you're thinking of using if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me, that's it for today and I'll see you in the next one.